go to go to mass. I think in Europe probably it's much less than that. I know it is probably around 12, 13 percent. So maybe one percent. One percent. One percent. They lost faith. They lost the faith. <laughs> And this is going to happen here as well, unless we, the church, we, the church, do something about it. So I think that's why we're here today, to kind of, you know, uh, think about that. And not only, I know that we're going to go out, you're going to go out in, in June and um, uh, go visit some of our parishioners here at Ali Fatima who have not, some of them have not been to Mass for a long time. Um, so, uh, and I think there'll be an opportunity for you to do a little special sort of evangelization. Like I said before, you're already evangelizing in your own way. You know, by being who you are, certainly. But then the Lord asks us, says, look, get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> get out of your comfort zone and go into something that's a little bit uncomfortable and I will guide you. But Lord, I don't know how to do that. I feel uncomfortable. And this is where we need to just, Lord, I trust you. They somehow we're going to, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I, I trust that you're going to lead me. And this is wonderful, because when you get out there, you, you may not, not everyone is going to be wonderful to you, I'm sure, but the Lord will be with you to somehow bring that message that the people have to hear. And, and what, you're doing, what you're doing really is planting seeds, seeds. You may not see them grow, but you're planting a seed. And you're planting another seed. And then the Lord will do whatever he has to do beyond that. Right? So, um, and this evangelization, like, like Scott said, he's here to stay. And that's what the church is always called right from the very beginning. You know, Jesus told his disciples to go out and, and, and baptize. Go out. I think that was the, the last message from Matthew, right? The last... Uh, go out and um, evangelize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus said to his, to his apostles. Go. And they did, didn't they? They went. They went. Paul evangelized all the pagan world, all the pagan world at the time, Rome and beyond. Right? And all the apostles went out and they, they spread out the, the, new, the good news. So, here we are, apostles and disciples. We are disciples of Christ. And Christ is saying, go. Let me ask you this. How many of you can think right now of a situation, no, as someone that needs to come to the Lord? How many in your lives can think of someone a friend, some, uh, someone in your family that needs to come to the Lord. Or maybe someone that you already, in your heart, you're praying for them, needs to come. How many of you would know, know that already? Yeah. Yeah, Can I see some hands? All of us. <laughs> oh, you see a lot of people, right? So that's a lot of work to do, right? A lot of work to do? Okay, and I think that the first thing we need to do is evangelize, which is what? Pray. Pray for that person. Pray for that person. Pray powerful. Yes. But not only praying, but then we need to encounter Sacrifice. them. Please? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. But then there has to be this encounter with them. We need to encounter them. Maybe it's for a cup of coffee. Maybe you don't even bring up anything about the faith. Right? Maybe just a cup of coffee. And just by you being there, and they know who you are. They know who you are. They know that you're a faithful person. You know, so just by having a cup of coffee sometimes, it's good enough for that one time. And then, maybe another encounter, and the conversation goes on. And then some days they will call and say, hey, I've got this problem in my life, what do I do? Ah, and it's your turn. So, okay, this is how I can help you. This is how we can be helped. Okay, and then of course, little by little, bring them to the Lord. And give them love. And love them. Right? And love them. And so, so love, to, to love them, what does it mean? What does it mean, right? It's not, not so much about these touchy feelings, but so much more about wanting the, the good for the other person. Yes. You want the good for that person. And the greatest good for that person is what? To come to know 
of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's the greatest good. So you want the greatest good for that person, yes. But you gotta do it slowly, and you gotta do it at the Lord's pace. And at the person's pace, because a lot of people are going through who knows in life. So, little by little, the Lord leads. The Lord leads.